Encore Revival, America, June 26, 2017. Once the United States people decide what they think about Otto Warmbier's death, the results will make more headlines in the Asias than in the Americas. The news won't let it rest because the people won't let it rest either. Americans will blame the Kim dynasty and China, whose funding allowed the dynasty to not shrivel up on its own. Dennis Rodman and his crew have sought good-faith diplomacy with the Kim dynasty. U.S. officials commented previously that if Rodman leaves for North Korea again, he might not be allowed back in the U.S. Of course, human rights advocates have lots to say on the issues. This time, they want Rodman booted from the Hall of Fame. Otto's father denies that Rodman made any difference and called involvement a distraction. Mr. Warmbier said of failed attempts prior to Trump's intervention that the results speak for themselves. South Korea's president seems to stand with Dennis Rodman, more or less, that diplomacy is such a strong possibility that it needs to remain our first choice. Many people in the U.S. take the same view, but probably not quite most. Support for military action is a strong part of the logistic calculation. Then, there are the race-baiting comments from a professor and a Huffington Post article. As if that wasn't enough, the group responsible for spying on Donald Trump before the election is stalling a congressional inquiry. Obama's legacy is beyond jeopardy, yet he still holds unshaken loyalties with such blind dogma that it typifies a cult following. The same can be said of Trump, except that the Russian hack won't be Trump's undoing. The Obama cult doesn't see this. The media still pushes the hopeless Russian hack conspiracy theory, not with any hope of impeachment, but to enrage the Obama cult and give them enough rationalization to carry on. Americans angry about Otto will rise up and shut down the oppression in Northern Korea, but at home, they will be accused of white supremacy, clash with the Obama cult, and violence will increase in some American cities for a time. Meanwhile, with the continued distractions from the media, Trump will continue with his goals. The country is on a road to better times. American energy supply is on the rise. Clean energy is less and less expensive. Trump pulled out of the non-binding agreement made in Paris, even though European nations also treated their part of the NATO treaty as de facto non-binding. Globalists are having conniptions. It will be very interesting and telling to see what the actual pollution in the U.S. turns out to be in the following years. As with Otto's release, those results will also speak for themselves. Encore. Revival is returning to America.